If you're outside like I am, then you know how awful it seems mosquitoes are lately. And if it seems like they're on the hunt for your blood, you're absolutely right. It's the female mosquitoes that bite for blood and they convert that blood into into eggs and the eggs then are laid. As a professor in microbiology and entomology, MSU's Ned Walker knows bugs and he's an expert in mosquitoes. What I was impressed with really was how huge a reversal it was from like virtually no mosquitoes at all to just a biblical plague of them. I have a few bug bites to, to prove it. I feel like they're a little bit worse this year, uh, for sure. They're bad. <laughs> they're really bad. Lily Ferguson is a dog walker. She's out with Abby today and tries to stay in open areas where there might be a breeze. I try to stay away from, um, there's an area here where it's a dark, more of a dark path and not a real road and anywhere it's really wet because they're horrible. <laughs> And just a milligram of blood from one good bite can give a mosquito all she needs to lay hundreds of eggs at once. Some hatch relatively quickly, but then there are staggered hatchings. And entomologists say summer floodwater mosquitoes don't just depend on a good rain, but also drier weather. And it's like a breeding machine. And they do depend upon cycles of rainfall and drying. And it, those areas have to dry down again completely and the mosquitoes come back and lay their eggs in those places, not on top of the water, but in areas where water will come again in a, a later rainfall event. Really, I think it's important for people to focus on prevention. The actual diseases are quite rare, but there's there's very simple and, and easy things that people can do to prevent those uh, those illnesses, and that's really to prevent mosquito bites in the first place. Dr. Brad Uren is an associate professor of emergency medicine at the University of Michigan. And while he says itchy, irritated skin is what most of us will experience, there are mosquito-borne viruses that will cause illness. You start developing more severe symptoms, things like headache, confusion, stiff neck, joint pains, uh, persistent fever. Those are also things that should, you, you should consult with your physician um, and, and talk to them about your risk for those diseases so they can help advise you and work you up for those. Talk to your local health department about mosquito control programs in your area and there are a lot of products on the market to control mosquitoes on you or around your home. Professor Walker says make sure you follow the directions carefully and he says you can use a repellent with a high level of DEET. Some people like to use them and other people don't. I don't particularly care to use them. I don't like the feel of the oiliness or the smell, the odor, but if I have to be outside that's my best option. Experts also suggest wearing light colored clothing and long sleeves and long pants when outdoors. Maintain the screens on your windows around your home to keep mosquitoes outside and try to get rid of things around the house that can become mosquito breeding sites such as kiddie pools and old tires. Most of our mosquito problems come from places that you can't dump them out. I mean, you can't dump out a roadside ditch. And don't forget about your pets. Talk to your vet about oral and topical treatments to prevent mosquito bites and heartworm disease, which can be deadly. If you keep your dogs or pets outside, they're gonna be harassed by mosquito bites, and that's something you need to think about. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.